What's going on, everybody? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How did, yo, I don't know how they're doing that, but I really like how they can do that. Is that like a fill the stadium, Kim? Like, every time it starts off, I'm like, yo, there's nobody here to watch us. And then all of a sudden, but look, that's, that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is this. Ezekiel Elliott, bro, I don't want to, what Ezekiel Elliott did he have? Because it was crazy. I, I, look, maybe he's not upgraded because the one, the Ezekiel Elliott that I saw, maybe he has like the gold version because he probably fooled me. I thought he had like the 89 overall version, but Zeke Elliott is a goon in this game and he's probably the only running back that I would use next to my level master, you know, LaDainian Tomlinson, man. I'm telling you that right now just to help you out as far as the way the run game is because they both have, you know, the stiff arm, the truck, the elusiveness. They both, they have enough of all of it to be able to break a lot of tackles. So, you know, going into this game right here, it just made me think. Um, Dak Prescott did that little interview and he's like, yeah, you know, um, you know, it's the next man up. We're not going to be, we're not going to lose a step without Ezekiel Elliott. That, listen, I understand that you got to have confidence. I understand that, um, you know, you had an amazing season uh, last year. I understand all that. You're not replacing Zeke. And, yeah, you, you got those guys. Yeah, but Darren McFadden, did, he, he rushed for, you know, 1,100 yards. Somebody, okay, listen to me, bro. You guys need to stop. You're talking about a guy that broke his elbow trying to save a cell phone when he's a millionaire. I don't care what is on my cell phone, bro. Oh, pick that. I'm not breaking my elbow. That, that's probably was a fake story, though. That probably was a fake story. Like, let's just be honest about it. Like, the more that I think about it now, I'm like, why would they even put that story out? Probably just to show that he's completely stupid because that doesn't make any sense. Like, how do you break your elbow trying to reach out? Look, regardless of this, kids, don't break your elbow or, you know, do anything to have bodily harm for a cell phone. Whatever's on there, you can get back. You know what I'm saying? Back your phone up as regular as possible. If something is missing from it, bro, it, there's other ways. Don't, look, just don't. Or, or, listen, or, or get an otter box. Or find a way to fish it out of wherever you are. Listen, or don't bring it places that you know you could lose it. Just do other things other than what Darren McFadden did. Do anything else other than what Darren McFadden did. But like I said, in this game right here, Ezekiel Elliott's going to show you. And keep in mind, a lot of people have been complaining about running backs like myself. You know, Ty Montgomery, all of a sudden, the dude just fumbles every play. A lot of running backs are just trash. But he's one of the only ones. And I played against Le'Veon Bell also. Le'Veon Bell is pretty slow, and he wasn't really impressive. Maybe it's the guy that I was playing. Um, he was probably just garbage. You know, that, that, that could be it also. Um, but Zeke Elliott does a lot of things in this game. Like, I don't even know. What, what, is he, what is this? What, what the? What? What? Yeah, okay. Okay, bro. Listen, the Dallas Cowboys will not make the playoffs. If he's suspended for the full six games, I, look, Dak is not doing. Look, bro, Dak, I like what Dak, I like what Dak does, okay? Not saying that Dak is not a decent, suitable quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. What I'm trying to make you understand is this. When you think about history, right, when you got a decent run game, with the exception of Tom Brady. See, that's why Tom Brady, oh, he's a system QB, whatever. Tom Brady can do it without a run game. He's probably the only quarterback that I've ever seen do that. Well, maybe, oh, well, I can't say that. Uh, Big Ben, well, Big Ben got, Big Ben, hold up, he didn't, he had Jerome Bettis when he won a Super Bowl. All right, so look, all right, I got to go. Tom Brady's the exception to the rule, Okay. But the way the Dallas Cowboys are built and the way that they won their Super Bowls, they had Emmitt Smith, they had Troy Aikman, they always had a decent run game. Um, you know, I would say, uh, you know, Joe Montana had decent running back. Look, okay, we just got to go. Tom Brady is the exception to the rule. If you have a good run game, you're probably going to do pretty well in the pass game because play action, everything's going to open up. You know, you're going to have more men in the box. You're going to do things like that. Just, now that I think about that, can you imagine what would have happened if Adrian Peterson would have been with the Saints? in his prime with Drew Brees. I don't even want to imagine that because I know the Saints fans are probably like, yo, stop teasing me, bro. Don't tease me, bro. That would have been a nightmare for teams because right now he's old as dirt. I don't know what he's going to do there. Uh, maybe Sean Payton might be able to bring something else out of him. I don't know, but I'm just thinking about that. Adrian Peterson in his prime with Drew Brees at quarterback. Yo, I, I, would, I wouldn't want, why did my guy just stand there and look at the ball and not react to it? It was pretty lit, but I just want to know why he did it. You know what I'm saying? If I had one, if I if I could ask a question about that, he really just stood there and didn't do anything. That was kind of nice though. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, we're talking about like the run game with the QB, right? So just think about it with, along the lines that I'm saying. Dak Prescott, this is his second year. This it's not like he's a veteran QB and he's just like he's running up at the mouth. He's going crazy, and I and I love his confidence. See, that's the one thing about it. I'm not knocking him about the statement. I'm just saying that. Like me, no, like knowing football, watching football, living, eating football, that you don't just replace Ezekiel Elliott. Like you, you don't replace him. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like, oh, next man up. No, it's not the next man up. That's like Tom Brady goes down and people were excited because they went three and one. Yeah, it's the regular season. They're not playing clutch like that in the playoffs. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. 
you got guys, what was that other bump, Matt Castle, all these guys that, you know, he played within the system and they got him, you know, a certain good record. They're not winning playoffs without Tom Brady. I don't care about systemness, but, you know, this guy dropped that ball. Good job, bro. Um, deflate gate this, all kinds of gates with the gate. I don't care about that. What I'm telling you is this. When you look at the Dallas Cowboys, Zeke, if Zeke Elliott gets those full six games, right, they're going to lose to the Giants week one. I don't care if Zeke is there. I'm going to be honest with you because the way the Giants defense is looking right now, I, I don't really know what's going to be happening. All we have to know is this. If OBJ is healthy, you know, complete, they said he's looking good, and Brandon Marshall is able to do his thing on the outside, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, and then you, then you got, um, you know, Evan Ingram. Like, I, bruh, I know Eli Manning is one of the luckiest quarterbacks to ever play in the National Football League. He himself admits that. But he has so much on offense. And you know what's funny about that? Victor Cruz went on a Victor Cruz went on a cruise with OBJ before the playoff game, and now he just got cut by the Bears. You see, that's why. Look, guys, don't take advantage of your opportunity. That you know, it's just a lot of things I want to talk to you guys about. Like I'm looking at the way that it works because you got to know there's nothing more important in the NFL than winning playoff games and winning the Super Bowl. So why are you going to hang out with Trey Songs, who's washed up? The dude is listen. He used to be raw. I used to really listen to his music. Now I don't know what he's doing. I, I have no idea what's going on with the guy. So for you to feel that you need to hang out on a boat in t you know, wearing Tim's in Miami when you got a playoff game against the Packers, like that, that was really foolish. And then you come out and don't perform. It's not like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan used to go gamble the night before, do whatever he wanted, came out and performed. So Phil Jackson like, yo, do what you got to do. I already know what I got. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm done with y'all, I'm finna go get Shaq and Kobe. So I'm the luckiest coach ever to coach an NBA. That's different then what is what happened with the whole New York Giants thing? Because New York Giants, they Eli Manning came to play that playoff game, but nobody else did. Um, but getting back to Zeke Elliott, like I said, when you look at the way that Zeke, you know, averages 5.5 yards a carry, you, that's half already. Bro, listen, don't – I'll debate with you guys. You know what? I'll, especially for the Cowboys, because I'm not a Cowboys fan. You know, I don't have, I don't have a, a team in the NFL. I just, I just watch football, and I love football. And it's easy for me to embrace it and laugh at other people that cry when their team loses. So what I'm telling you is this. When I look at the Dallas Cowboys, I see a team that it starts with Ezekiel Elliott. It starts and it finishes with him. And that, you know, Alfred Morris is decent. You know what I'm saying? Darren McFadden is decent behind those old lines. But they're not Zeke. They're just not Zeke. And I'm going to tell you again. If he gets the full six games, and we don't know what he's going to get yet, but it's going to be coming out soon. If he gets the full six games, the Cowboys are not making the playoffs. Let's just be honest about that. Because, it, look, if I'm wrong about this, Dak will be in the MVP discussion. And there will be nobody that can say anything about Dak Prescott if I'm wrong about this. But if I'm right about it, which I think I am, we, we can expect this to – look, bro, they're not making the playoffs. We can expect that to happen. We can expect them to not make the playoffs. Now. Big Ben is playing like a total. What is he doing? Big Ben, throw the. Oh yeah, we about to get sacked again. Who is that guy? Why is that guy running in like that? Did he catch that? No, he dropped it. That right there. Even if we caught that, that would have been uh, pretty bad anyway. We have to get another kicker. We got to get uh, Janikowski because that's why I was just trying. Okay, this is who was I trying to throw the ball to right there? Yo, good game by this guy, man. That was that is GGs, man. It's always GGs. But like I said, man, I just wanted to get this out there for all you cowboy haters and the cowboy lovers together. Dak Prescott is not the same quarterback without Ezekiel Elliott. And I think you're going to be in for a rude awakening uh, week one. But GG, uh, GG's to my opponent, man. Uh, he came out, took care of business. And this was the beginning of a new season for me, all Madden uh, second string. So, you know, that, it is what it is, bro. GG's. We'll be back with more. Subscribe. Share the video. I'll see you guys girls next time. One love.